Good evening everyone. Welcome to Mascriber. I am Sihal Mohidasa and we will be doing a 2001 AL project task question. The question will appear on your screen now. The components of the initial velocity for particle projected under gravity from a point O are U, V in the directions of horizontal and upward vertical axis, OX, OY respectively. Show that when it has moved a horizontal distance x, it attains a vertical height y equals v over u times x minus g over 2u squared times x squared. Let's try and do the first part first. So now let's go to the first sentence of the first part. The components of the initial velocity of a particle projected under gravity from point O are u, v in the directions of horizontal and upward vertical axis. OX and OY respectively. So let's draw the projectile or something like this on the horizontal plane. Uh, the particle starts from a point O with vertical velocity component B and horizontal velocity, horizontal velocity component U. So what we have to show is when we when the particle goes through horizontal distance x, it is supposed to have vertical distance y of what they have given to prove. So let's say that it has gone to, to point A in the projectile when it has gone horizontal distance x, and let's say it has taken a time t equals 1. t equals t1, sorry. So let's minimize this image. Okay, so now we can apply the kinematic equations and get towards what they are asking for. So let's, uh, so now we can apply from O to A, we can apply S equals UT plus half A T squared horizontally. We are in this equation, S is equal to the if it's horizontally the horizontal displacement, if it's vertically the vertical displacement, and u is the initial velocity, either if horizontal or horizontal or vertical, if vertical is vertical, t will be the time taken from whatever uh, from point to whatever other point, and a is the acceleration that we, that it's taken. So to the towards the horizontal. There is no acceleration, so this part can be negligible, it can be neglected, sorry. So, so now we can apply, so towards the horizontal displacement is x, the horizontal velocity, initial horizontal velocity is u, time taken is t1. Therefore, we can say t1 is uh, x over u. We can name that as equation 1. Let me just see that equation. So this is equation 1. E1 equals x over u. So now again applying from O to A. We can apply vertically again s equals u t plus half a t square. So the vertical distance displacement is y. Vertical velocity initial velocity vertical velocity component is v. Time taken is t one. So for this system gravitational acceleration will be occurring when we, when we are taking it to a vertical 
when you are applying this equation vertically, so when you when you are taking it upwards, uh, the gravitation acceleration will be negative. So we have to put negative sign here, minus g t1 squared over 2. So now we got t1, so now we can apply t1 to this equation, y equals v times x over u minus g over 2 times t1 squared will be x squared over u squared. So now I think we have got what they have asked, y equals v over u times x minus g over 2 u squared times x squared. So that's the first part, that's the end of the first part. Now let's move on to the second part. So the second part states that the particle just clears a vertical wall of height a over 2 at a horizontal distance a from O and has a range 4a on the horizontal plane through O. Determine u v and show that the, show that the direction of projection makes an angle tan inverse 2 over 3 with the horizontal. So let's do that. Try the second part as well. So now let's go to the first sentence of the second part. The particle just clears a vertical wall of height A over 2 at a horizontal distance A from O and has a range of 4A on the horizontal plane through O. Let's do another projectile. So the particle again starts from O and it has just cleared a wall, vertical wall of height A over 2 which is uh, a dis horizontal distance A from O and it has given that the range is 4A horizontal range is 4a and I think they are still given that the vertical component the velocity components v and horizontal velocity components u so let's minimize this diagram Okay, so actually I forgot uh, we have to mark these points. Let's mark this point on the projectile as A and again let's name give this time as T1. And we for the hori maximum horizontal range we we'll put a point B uh, and give it T equals T2. Okay. Uh, So, we got an equation previously as y equals v over u times x minus g over 2 u square times x square. So, we can apply, actually we can apply to this equation from this. So, from O to A, and by applying to this equation y equals v over u times x minus g over 2 u squared times x squared so y from o to a the vertical distance will be a over 2 this part here just passes the vertical wall v over u v and u we don't know yet 
e que a suposta fainha em the second uh, sentence em the second part determine u v and show that the direction of projection makes an angle tending us to go through the horizontal so we have to find u and v first so we have to apply for this equation continuously so v o u x actually from o to a the horizontal distance is a and g o minus g o to u square and again x will be a so a square so then can equate can divide a from this equation a so half then it then it will be half equals v over u minus g a over 2 u square so she we have a common denominator uh, half equals 2 u square so v u v times 2 v u minus g a over 2 u square so then continuing uh, can uh, cancel this two so so then uh, one will be equal to 2 v u minus g a over u square so u square will be equal to 2 u minus g a so we can save this equation for later equation from o to b y again y equals v over u times x minus g over 2 u square times x square so y the horizontal vertical displacement is zero because there is the end of the projectile so there is no vertical displacement so we can equate this to zero v over u again we don't know and the horizontal displacement is 4a so we can equate x to 4a so minus g over 2 u square times x square will be 16 a square again so we can divide the whole equation by 4a then it will be c zero equals v over u minus four g a over over two u square. Simplifying further, zero equals v over u minus two g a u square. So if you multiply the whole equation by u square, zero equals v u minus two uh, g a. So you multiply by u square. This value will be in zero because any value you multiply by zero will be zero. When we multiply this by u square, u will be remaining. When we multiply this by u square, both u squares will be cancelled. Then we have, then we can get 
mu equals 2ga. That's one equation. And ga equals u, u over 2 as another equation. So let's save those equations as well. So now we can apply for one equation one. We can apply uh, mu so g a equals mu over two. Let's apply that as e two v u minus v u over two. So we can multiply the whole equation by two. The u square is multiplied by two is 2v squared, then 2v is multiplied by 2 for vu, then vu over 2 is multiplied by 2, the 2 is get cancelled out, and it's minus vu. 2u squared, squares is equal to uh, 3vu, so the u is, 1u will get cancelled, then another, and 2u will be equal to 3v, so therefore, u can be equal to 3 over 2 v which can be used later So now for the first equation again, we can apply the second one. U squares, 2VU, we can, instead of VU here, we can apply 2GA. So 2, 2 into 2GA will be 4GA minus GA. U squares will be two, equal to 3GA. U will be equal to root 3GA. This is the this is one answer we get. So then we can apply this to this equation. In this is this.
So these vertical and horizontal velocity components create the result and velocity so that the projectile will happen and it will happen with an angle to the horizontal. So we can name that as theta. So then we can say tan theta equals to so normally you can say y over x so the vertical velocity component over the horizontal velocity component so the vertical velocity component is v and the horizontal velocity component is u so v equals 2 over 3 over 3g a so you take v times 1 over u so 1 over u will be 1 over root 3 g a then this root 3 g a is get cancelled off and tan theta will be equal to 2 over 3 therefore tan theta will be equal to tan inverse 2 over 3 and that's the end of the question that was the end of the 2001 Ada uh, projectiles question. Thank you for watching. Hope you all learned something from this. If you all had any questions, you all can uh, put your questions down in the comments. Uh, and make sure you are subscribed and subscribe. It will uh, help you all with all the topics relevant to combine mathematics. And yeah, thank you for watching.